Thanks, Michael. Hey, Christian. Um, you, you guys have a couple of players who are capable of unbalancing a defense on their own in, in Christian Pulisic and Gio Reyna, and neither of them are, are going to be with the team this time. And so I'm, and you, you've played with them and played without them. So I'm just curious, how do, how do tactics, how do responsibilities, how do maybe instincts you have on the field change when – guys like that are missing and maybe it has to become more of a collective effort than sort of hoping Christian can beat a couple guys. Uh, yeah, we're losing talent for sure uh, without Christian and, and Gio. Those guys play in, in the top teams in, in the world, um, you know, and they're, and they're capable of, of unbalancing a team. Uh, you know, we're, we're losing a lot of, of quality. Um, guys that that dribble and and find that final pass however on the flip side now we have more runners we have guys that are are playing off the ball uh less ball to feet and now more into space so we can really stretch guys in behind um with with the players that we have here um but look it's it's next man up mentality we we know those guys are rooting for us really hard uh, and, and we have the guys that, are, that, that can get the job done here at camp. Next will be Ron Blum from the Associated Press. Hey, Christian. What is the challenge of this schedule of playing every third day with two days off versus the normal schedule for you? What do you have to do differently in recovery and preparation because of that? And... How difficult is it to play three of those in a seven-day period? Yeah, certainly it, it is tough on the body. Uh, the amount of travel that we have to do is tough, but uh, in the end, we're still at an advantage. Um, you know, we have a deep enough squad to, to rotate guys, um, to, to get guys on the field without a drop off uh, in, in quality. And, you know, that's the most important thing for us. That's the attitude that we have. We got to embrace the challenge. We have to embrace the travel conditions, um, you know, the, the short rest and, and get on with it. You know, the important thing for us is to get results. And if we embrace the, 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 the tough environments um, and accept that it's going to be tough, you know, we'll, we'll be all right and we'll be just fine. As Greg has mentioned from the last three games set, we started 21 different players in the three matches, 22 total played during the window. Next, we'll go to Chris Bills. Thanks. Uh, hi, Christian. Welcome to Austin. Um, you know, I, I know you were here the first time around. I was curious on your, your takeaways from, from the first match at Q2 and your own experience of what what it feels like, how much different it is um, for the player side. I think the fans are going to experience the difference between a Gold Cup match and a World Cup qualifier. But but to you, what's what's been the difference there? And, um, you know, what do you expect to see on Thursday compared to uh, your first experience here in Austin? Well, I think my first experience here in Austin was fantastic. It was great. It was a it was a one zero win against uh, Qatar. Um, you know, I, I remember vividly after Qatar misses their PK. Uh, you know how loud the stadium got, and and that really lifted us um, in that moment. So I expect nothing less from from Austin because they have such a great crowd uh, and great fans. Uh, secondly, um, you know the the pressure in World Cup qualifying is is what is going to change the intensity of the game. Uh, what's at stake. Uh, so we'll see uh, two urgent sides uh, in Jamaica and, and the U.S. that want to win. And I think that's going to be the, the main difference between the Gold Cup game and, and this game. Next will be Claudio Villalobos. Uh, Christian, uh, se dice muchas veces en el fútbol que un equipo no es tan malo como su último mal, mal resultado, ni tan bueno como su último gran resultado. Eh, si vemos el primer campamento de los Estados Unidos, habría que decir que por los primeros partidos eh, andaba mal el equipo, o se podría decir eso. Y si se ve el último resultado de la cualidad de Honduras, alguien podría decir que Estados Unidos está volando. 
cuál es realísticamente eh, cómo como se ve el equipo en este segundo campamento de acuerdo a lo que se espera, eh, su funcionamiento en lo que viene? Pues para, para nosotros yo creo que después de, de, del partido contra Honduras nos, nos sentimos muy bien, eh, con confianza. Eh, como dijiste, eh, no, no tenés que tener un, un gran cabeza cuando estás bien alto ni, ni tan bajo. Eh, pero la verdad, eh, con los suplentes que entraron, eh, sentimos que en el segundo tiempo hicimos muy, muy bien en ese partido y tenemos que usar eh, ese partido um, y, y todo lo, lo bueno que hicimos para, para jugar muy bien contra Jamaica. Eh, pero la verdad, eh, metiendo cuatro goles afuera de casa, después de perdiendo 1-0, tenemos mucha confianza eh, eh, para este partido. Next will be Charles Bone from MLSsoccer.com. Hey Christian, I'm not sure how much um, opposition prep you've done yet, but I'm curious what your your outlook is on Jamaica, a team that you know has a lot of quality in the pool, but you know their strongest eleven wasn't actually their their best performance in the last window, and I wonder what you think of uh, uh, kind of what you expect from them and 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 the the talent that they can put out in this first uh, first strength eleven. Yeah, I think this will be one of the strongest Jamaica sides that, that we'll play, and and it'll be a difficult game. The amount of physicality, uh, athleticism that they provide is something that we have to be aware of, both on the counter uh, and also, you know, taking advantage because they, once they uh, go forward, they go forward in numbers and they can leave themselves ex exposed in the back. Um, so, you know, It, it, it'll be a difficult game because it's uh, you know they're they're using really their their key guys uh, that that they were unable to use in the last cycle, um, and and we're looking forward to it. You know that that's what World Cup qualifying is all about and, and the competition that it brings. Next will be Paul Tenorio from the Athletic. Hey Christian, um, like you said, it will be a different group this time around than it was in the Gold Cup, but. It was a difficult quarterfinal game, a one nothing result that you guys had in the Gold Cup. You came in and helped change the game, um, uh, had the assist to Matthew to, to win it. And you talked in that game about how you kind of came in and they inverted the triangle and took advantage of those wide spaces. What can you take away from that quarterfinal win um, and from your performance um, and maybe apply it to this, to this game and this Jamaica team? Thank you. Yeah, I think Jamaica was really good in that game, and, and I felt like our, our players were up for it in, in that game, in particular, you know, Callan Acosta, who set the tone. Um, you know, counterattacking is something that we need to, to do a, a really good job of um, in this game and taking advantage in, in wide areas. You know, I, I felt that in the Jamaica game, they dropped off when, when we try to run in behind, um, and, and that's just going to create a lot of space out wide. So. Uh, being able to, to exploit uh, the, the wide areas and also, you know, getting runners in the box. Um, you know, the, if good things happen when we have a lot of guys in the box, and um, you know that's how we got our goal, and, and that's how we can we can punish Jamaica. But in the end, you know, we have to to have a complete game um, in, in order to win and and do do all the little things to to help our team uh, to be successful. Next will be Doug McIntyre from Fox. Thanks, Michael. Hi, Christian. Thanks for doing this. I asked Anthony this. I'll, I'll ask you the same thing. But Greg talked about the focus, the mentality, the urgency, what have you, not being where it needed to be early on last camp. Curious how, how this one compares so far. Thank you. Yeah, it's been great. I think, you know, with the, the short window, guys coming from all different places, you know, your, your head can be, can be a little bit elsewhere um, just based on all the travel and Um, you know the human nature aspect of it. Um, you know, with all with all COVID and and all that stuff going on. But you know, we, we set the tone early um, in, in in camp as players. Um, the the message was has been great from from the coaching staff, and I think our guys are are ready to compete against a, a strong side uh, in, in Jamaica. Um, But we're we're ready to rock. Our, our guys have have prepared uh, mentally and physically. Uh, now we're gonna, you know, have our match day minus one tomorrow, and um, you know have have 
uh, a, a really good out and outing, um, you know, in, in front of a, a good crowd.